2.56. Gonna head out for the walk. I don't know which direction I'm gonna go in. I got... I'll probably just decide when I go outside. So, gotta get my coat on and then, like, turn my computer off, I guess. And then... Then... Fuck. Then I guess just go out, then. Alright, so I'm outside now. As you can tell, as you can barely fucking see anything. It being, cause it's fucking three in the morning now. Um, I, yeah, luckily street lights help occasionally. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go by the William Lane Center. That's probably where I'm, the direction I'm gonna be headed for this walk. I, yeah, I guess, I don't know if I come up with anything more. If I come up with a part in it, Thing to talk about I guess I'll I'll put that in but if not it'll just be snippets of progress I guess so fucking motion detecting fucking ah fuck it appears to be raining slightly either that or the trees are very still very wet and drippy that's great anyways before the water went into my fucking nose uh motion detecting uh, porch lights. There's a fucking another one. I forget. There's two of them. Anyways, yeah. No, it tripped me out, I guess, because you're not expecting it. Tend to not, you know, keep it in the front, forefront of your mind. So, I guess I'm going to cut right here now. Uh, it's about 13 minutes of my walk. You know, just a little bit off of four. Found a well-lit parking lot. Uh, you know, nice lighting. It's, I think... I don't know, this might just be my psychosis or whatever, but I feel like during the winter time that businesses, uh, their parking, like their lights for their, the parking lots are cranked way the fuck up, like, see my face clearly, but during like the summer or spring or whatever, they're like, not, like, not, they're, they're a lot dimmer, I'd say. This is like fucking almost sunlight, basically. I, I wonder if that is in my, uh, what the fuck word am I saying? If my, I can't think. Whatever, whatever the fuck I just noticed. Word I'm looking for. My is has any sort of reasoning for it? Maybe because winter, fall times it's darker. Crime or something? I I don't know. Look, I'm just saying shit. I don't think I mentioned why I wanted to go over by one of these. Why? One of these center, sports center, whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, cause over by that area there's like a lot of like businesses, like restaurants and stores and sort of stuff. And it's kind of interesting just to, cause businesses leave their lights on for like security cameras or whatever the fuck. Yeah, I see more, uh, parking lot lights. It's interesting just to kind of like look into the buildings and, you know, they're kind of hollow cause there's nothing really going on in them. A bit interesting. I haven't taken a walk over in that area, so... Yeah, seems like a good spot for the vlog. I also, when I want to record the footage, I keep pushing the camera button instead of the record button. So I had to, I'm gonna have to delete some pictures when I'm done. When I get home, I guess. So I don't know. When I get a new thought to talk about, I guess I'll, I'll put it out and you know, start a new recording. But that's, that's all I wanted to say. All right. Ah, fuck, I didn't check the time, how far I'm gonna walk, but whatever. I'm over by Main Street, I guess. And, so yeah, this is one collection of buildings. Really did wanna, like, you know, U-shaped surrounding of buildings. I don't know entirely what to call it. But, uh, yeah. So it's nice just to kind of see, like, oh, this one doesn't have its lights on. But you can kind of sort of see what they kind of display, or, uh, this has its lights on. You can see it. It's just kind of nothing going on. Oh, got their pie lights on. That kind of shit. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I kind of... I fuck. How do I put this? Well, I, well, I was thinking about these buildings. I kind of came up with a word for them, I guess. Like, hollow buildings. I don't know. Stupid as fuck. Anyway. Fucking car. Ah. Uh, I don't know, it's just kind of cool to look at them and shit. See, just like other people would go in here and, you know, buy shit or whatever. And, 
Nah, there's nothing in here. Lights are still on. Just, you know, no one's really here except for the fucking cars. I'm gonna car share. Maybe because it's Main Street. I don't know. And me, yeah, so the, you know, see, you see the things that were previously used or, you know, technically still actively being used, but are kind of abandoned. Maybe that's, maybe, I don't know, it's, it's, it's fucking goddamn motherfucking car. Yeah, it's, I don't know, this is either a chicken or the egg scenario. Maybe I like this because I played Metroid, or maybe I like Metroid because it's that sort of feeling of, here's some abandoned ruins with the technology and all that, and it's just, it's just you. And, um, yeah. It's a nice kind of feeling. Speaking of Metroid, right, yeah. Speaking of Metroid, ah. Uh, it's kind of cool seeing the upgrades and stuff. My favorites are the suits because it changes the design of the power suit. You know, you know the obvious one, the various suit with the big shoulders. And uh, I don't know. I have to say my favorite is the gravity suit because of the purple. I like the purple. I have to say my second would be the PED suit, the suit you get in Prime Three. Uh, the I don't know, it's a the PED suit, and then when you get the hazard shield, which doesn't add a lot, it just changes the shoulders. But by that time in the game, you're due to the you know storyline and stuff. Yeah, you're, you're very purple, very purple, dark blue sort of thing, and I kind of like the color scheme. Kind of like said, kind of goes together with the suit upgrades. I don't know, that's, not, that's really all I have to say. Some some of the suit upgrades are stupid. Are not yet upgrades or our style. Huh. It's not a lot of cars, but it's usually more than what you see on these walks. Like again, it's it's like a main it's a main street. So, you know, a main street, so I imagine it sees a bit more travel, even if it's, you know, still pales in comparison than what it is during the day. Anyways, what was that? Yeah, Metroid suits. Uh, I'd have to say, yeah, or art styles. Like, I don't like the other M design at all. And I like the, the sort of classic, you know, Super Nintendo, uh, Metroid 2, uh, and the Prime designs better. But that's, you know, that's my taste. And it kind of sucks that it's still an ultimate, but, yeah. I haven't gotten a good look of the suit for uh, the Samus Returns remake, but from the cover, which is the most I've seen of it, it looks uh, all right. You know, I don't understand. I don't. I haven't seen like the full suit outside of that pose, so I don't understand the purport. So I don't know what the proportions are or the finer detail the suit has. And I don't. I think they might have for the changes they added the gravity suit. So I, you know. Gotta see what your favorite suit looks like in the new design choices slash art style. And there's another car, and I'm I'm out of shit to say at this point. So until, once again, until I think of something else, I'll I'll cut back, I guess. One hour, 33 minutes, and I've been heading back for about like 30 to 40 of those. So I'm about, I don't know, halfway, probably more than halfway done. And this is, this is gonna be the part that Thomas, you're getting, you're getting monkey paw. This is gonna be the part you're gonna hate the most. And that's, that's Graves Gundam talk. I'm gonna be talking about Gundam now. Also known as the part I'm gonna have to edit the most, I think. And if you, if you get to the end of this and tell me the general gist of what I talked about 
and tell me the mobile suit that I will specifically highlight for this section that might be a recurring thing if I ever continue doing this, then I don't know, I'll congratulate you at the very least and maybe you'll get a prize. That's unlikely, don't get your hopes up. Oh, street light, cool. Um, so yeah, a couple of, couple of gun things I wanna talk about that you know, have been floating around in my head. First of all, Ah, fuck car noises. All right. First of all is the, the G40 designs uh, video that kind of leaked. I don't know, whatever. People on the internet procured the full thing. As all that's on the official Gundam channel. It's just the two promotional videos. And yeah, so we get to see the uh, changes. We, we already seen the, the RX-78 2s changes since that was released at the end of 2019 for the, the whole G40 thing is it's the 40th anniversary of Gundam and Gunpla this year and last year you know they're 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 really extending it anyway so the G4 they got this industrial designer Ken Okiyama I want to say I'll, I don't know I'll fucking put the name in and he redesigned to the uh, you know staple suits of the Gundam franchise grandfather things the you know the rx-78 grand any gundam the first gundam and the first mobile suit we ever see the first grunt suit the ms-06 zaku 2 there we go that's the two mobile suits two of the three mobile suits i still remember the dead the whole like number design number letter designation anyways yeah so he was redesigned both of those, and the RX-78 II, um, you know, don't really, like, I don't hate it, except for, I don't really like it. Like, I really like the beam rifle, like what they did with that, but I, because, and the whole, and the other thing is sort of with the design sort of thing is it's trying to sort of mimic the animation movement, and in the, uh, you know, 70s anime, the skirting armor didn't fucking move. So... And so the skirting armor on the model doesn't move. So it has like this extra joint. Like to actually have it move. Make it so it's legs to move more than a couple centimeters back and forth. Sort of thing. And I don't like the look of that. At all. So it's kind of kind of balances out to like, eh, I don't really care. But the one thing I was more interested in is because we only got like sort of like semi better sketch designs from like the the chest up so there was the Zaku 2s and I was that's what I was interested in because you know one of my favorite if not favorite mobile suits from the entire series is the Zaku 2 what got me into the you know model kits and whatever in the series and so with the G40 you know video coming out yeah, uh, being procured by, you know, people on the internet. I don't know how the fucking black magic works. Get to see the Zaku 2 and all the entirety. Well, you saw the Zaku. You saw Char Zaku 2 in the promotional videos, the PVs. And I, I really, I like that a lot. I like it a lot more than the uh, RX-78, than the Grand Eddy Gundam. You know, the changes are pretty cool. The main one is the shoulder pads as opposed to the spike shoulder pad and the shield. The shoulder shield, it's two spike shoulder pads and then the shield is moved to like the forearm. And I was wondering because the, uh, the uh, pictures we saw, you know, the chest up sketch sort of things, colored sketches, the, you, you saw Char's and it had the two spike shoulder pads as was shown in the P promotion video in the whole fucking short. And the Grunt Zaku 2, the regular one, had like two small shoulder shields over the joint. Like, I don't know, I'll bring up pictures. It's, like I said, it's gonna be the part I edit the most, I wanna, I'm gonna say. And so I was wondering what the deal with that is. And I was wondering, cause I was wondering what the G40 animation sort of thing was gonna be. And from what I gleaned from the promotional videos, it was just gonna be either a remake of one scene or maybe just like a collection. Ah, fuck. Trick. That's a, you know, promotional video. It's only showed like the one 
the one char fight with the, uh, the the infamous char kick and all that. That's been, you know, referenced in other things like the in Unicorn Gundam with the Sinanju fight. Um, so, as it, it is shown, as i seen from the video, it is just a recollection of remake of scenes. And one of which was the uh, Zaku's infiltrating Side 7. And the designs, yeah, the designs, like it seems to be either like it, the, uh, the how the Zaku looks, how its armor is, and all that armaments is depending on role and or you know just what mission it's going into seems to be a a way to deal with the uh the fucking like fucking tens if not you know the shit ton of zaku 2 variations because they're like msb and then like you know some of the stuff they made as they went along with like the or the, the you know the stuff they made as they went along such as like the zaku kai the Zaku 2 Kai, or the, you know, the added Zaku 2 F2, that sort of thing. And so the, the G40 uh, Zaku 2 seemed to be like, you know, modular, or at the very least, just what the role is in the squad. Because we only see like, yeah, we see a couple of squads and they see the role. We got one that's just one big, it's, he, his job is to carry the shield. He has one shield to block fire and he holds ammo. Then we have two more standard Zaku's. Yeah, the, the more more standard design. One, you see one with like a, a bigger shoulder shield with like the three spikes reminiscent of the Zaku 2 JC subtype. Sort of three spikes on the shoulder shield. And the commander type. Which is the same as Charis with the two spike shoulder pads and the forearm shield. So, um, as the, you know, the G40 Granddaddy Gundam got one. I'm assuming we're at the very least going to get the Char Zaku 2 Kanoki G40 Zaku 2. And yeah, the one I like the most of the bunch is the the commander type. So when if, that, if they release that, which they most likely are gonna... Then that's that's what I'm gonna get. I didn't get the G40 because didn't interest me, and then, you know, not a reason to get it. So you know, in general, I'm not really a fan of the RX78 II. I don't hate it, but it's just sort of like there. And if I was gonna get one, I'd probably just gonna get the high grade Universal Century Revive because that's like it's like ten dollars. It's dirt cheap. And the the other. Gundam related thing I was going to talk about was the uh, Hathaway's Flash, the movie trilogy, the, the mobile suit design. Nothing too big. We just saw, we have like three designs from it. And it's, you know, I, uh, not really, I don't really care. They're not my sort of what I like out of my, out of the mobile suits as a design process. But I do, do like some sort of undoing what they're going on the so the uh, the animation continuity timeline for mobile suit development as uh, Hathaway's Flash is it's mainly a direct sequel to Charles Counterattack it takes place in Universal Century 102 and Charles Counterattack came out in or takes place in Universal Century 0093 I want to say and the funny thing is, in release order, there was Charge Counterattack, and then the next one was Gundam F91, which takes place in Universal Century 123, I want to say. And what I'm what I'm getting at here is, for the mobile suits, and Gundam F91 is their they're very small, as that took place in the that came out in the 90s, you know, Japan economy sort of thing. So make the suits small, so less plastic and all that. So the mobile suits are, are very small, like the the lead Gundam, if not, and a lot of mo I, I know at least the lead Gundam for sure, but I want to say a lot of them are smaller than like the Zaku 2 or the RX-78 2, like the, the one year war ones, which are, you know, like not super small, but you know, generally like the standard size, like this is the base. And so, you know, it's a series 
as the timeline goes on, you get, you know, bigger suits, like the double Zeta Gundam, but for the purposes I'm talking about is charge counterattack, you got the, at least for the Neo Zeon, or especially for the Neo Zeon, for charge Neo Zeon, is like the, the Sasabi and the grunt suit, the Garadoga, are very big and bulky sort of things. I cut out, because I ran out of storage on my phone, Luckily, I had the SD card. It's just you know the videos go directly to the main storage, and that's that's running a bit low. Anyways, so as to say, yeah, double stage is a bit bulky, and then, yeah, what mainly what mainly is pertinent to this sort of thing I'm going on is the charge counterattack. There, the suits are very bulky, big and bulky, or at least the Neo Zeon ones, as the Sasabi and the Grunt suit, the Giridoga, are very, very, very bulky. But then the next release uh, in universe timeline is Unicorn, and that's three years later. And a lot of the mobile suits, the are slimmed down versions of the ones in Charge Counterattack. Because the Sinanju is a slimmed down version of the Sasabi, and the Girad Zulus are a slimmed down version of the Giradogas. And I assume that was a sort of like sort of an attack, uh, sort of like. A bridging sort of like all oh, the suits are getting smaller the mobile suits are getting smaller so by the time uh, you know Gundam F91 where they're fucking super small it makes sort of sense but then cuz and but then Hathaway's flash takes place past that it, as it's mainly more of a direct sequel to charge counterattack the designs also sort of follow that as they're fucking they're super big and bulky well from the ones we've seen the Federation Grunt suit that's going to be the thing, the Gustav Carl. It's a big, big sort of Jim Jagan sort of, you know, typical. It's a big, bulky, typical Federation Grunt suit. The the uh, Penelope and the, and the fucking Odysseus Gundam. Those are, again, very bulky, large sort of things. And then there's the picture, which I don't know if that there is. The general sort of design, the book design for the the lead Gundam, the Kasai Gundam. Again, also bulky, big and bulky. And then we, I think, like you see a bit of it and then it sort of lines up with the pictures I've seen. And then, you know, sort of, I looked into this. The, uh, I fucking forgot what the name of the mobile suit is, but it appears to be the, uh, the sort of Xeon-esque grunt suit. That is, once again, uh, pattern here. Big and bulky, so it's just kind of amusing that Unicorn tried to make a bridging point by slimming down the designs, and then here comes fucking Hathaway's Flash going, No, they're fucking big and fat again. Fuck F91. But yeah, so I wonder wonder what comes after Hathaway's Flash is gonna, gonna try and do that. Maybe we'll get an anime adaption of uh, the Super Nintendo game with the Gundam F90. Uh, Cause you know, I'd like to. I like the Gundam F90, save for the V fin. It seems very obtuse. Like it, it seems more or less closer, leaning on like a straight line than more of like a V. So for the typical Gundam V fin, but that just might be me. But uh, fuck, not even sidewalks, whatever. So I think that's that's the end of my Gundam talk. So the mobile suit, I wanna highlight. There's a lot on my mind, kind of thinking of. Since I, I just finished Data Gundam, Titans really on my mind. Let's go for Titans mobile suit. Uh, I'm gonna say the, uh, let's see here, the the Jim Quell. Get a, get a picture up and you know, maybe it's roll. But I think that that's it. I'll probably shoot a small snippet of me when I get home. And I think that's that's the end of this this vlog. I'll just have to get the edit it up and make sure all the footage is fine. All right, well, just got back from my walk a little bit ago. Just gonna took my coat and my shoes off. Then I'm probably gonna go make some ramen, and then you go to bed, or maybe I don't know, maybe play some Shadow War. If you got any fucking questions or whatever, if you if you know me. If the, Thomas fucking asked me in person, you know where I fucking live. But if you, if you don't know me, then I don't know, put it in the fucking 
comment, yeah, you know, you know, ask away in the comments, I guess. But yeah, this this fucking, I guess, all that's left is to fucking edit this shit. And, um, I thought about giving it a date when this is when this was filmed, but that's just gonna, gonna show how long it uh, took me to fucking make this based on the you know film date and publish date, and I don't wanna wanna do that. So yeah, that's I'm all, I'm all out of shit. That's that's it. No more jokes. Daddy's tired.